Hi guys! Sorry, it's Pia again. If you want to see more of the What to Play gang, come check out our new gameplay channel called What to Play Live. From over 300 single-player Android games, we've narrowed it down to the top 25 single-player Android games of all time, arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. Starting us off at number 25 is 80 Days. Journey around the world in this modern retelling of the classic Globetrotter. Step into the wandering boots of Phileas Fogg as he prepares and struggles through his four-score adventure around the steampunk universe. Plan out the best routes and weave through the rich and interactive narrative. Meet the great icons of alternate history and share the experience of the world. It has a play score of 8.72. Coming, seeing, and conquering at number 24 is V. This is an indie platformer from the creators of Super Hexagon. Play as Captain Viridian who has his ship crash land on an uncharted realm. It's up to you to rescue your crew. Move around the realm by flipping and jumping across platforms. It's simple, well executed, and super easy to pick up. It has a play score of 8.72. Creeping into number 23 is Botanicula. Amanita designs adorable point-and-click indie adventure with minuscule proportions. From the makers of the award-winning Machinarium and Samorost series, lead five little tree creatures as they set on a journey to save the last seed of their home from evil parasites. It has a play score of 8.73. Smuggled into number 22 is Million Onion Hotel, an action puzzler from Onion Games. Set in a strange pixel world with a strange hotel, Enjoy a plethora of pixel patrons as they serve a magical onion soup with ridiculous potential. Tap as many onions as you can and gain the highest score. It has a play score of 8.74. Tumbling into number 21 is Flipping Legend. Punch people with your magical fist, cast spells, and unlock new weapons in this pattern-based adventure from Noodle Cake Games. A test of your reflexes, use speed and rhythm at your advantage to be the legendary flipping legend. It has a play score of 8.74. A tale as old as time at number 20, Dragon Quest V. Our second look at what would be the Zenithia trilogy, Dragon Quest V seems to show off the best of the series port to the Android. Originally released on the Famicom, experience the much-awaited port on the go as you live 30 years in the life of their hero. A success more than decades after, it has a play score of 8.74. And at number 19 is Causality. Bending space and time into an adorable puzzler, Causality has everything from vibrant visuals to technical ingenuity. Not so much a brain tickler, their grids of mini astronauts will have you racking your brains for hours on end. Bring them to their color-coded destinations and bask in the delightful confusion. It has a play score of 8.75. And for number 18, we have Dandy Dungeon. This is definitely not your usual dose of RPG goodness, but that seems to be the pattern for most of Yoshiro Kimura's collection. Taking on the classic JRPG look with 8-bit scenes and UIs, follow the tale of the boxer-clad Yamada-kun and his nightly ventures into his own video game world. A nostalgia ride with pixel visuals and chiptunes, it has a play score of 8.75. Bring out your dictionaries, cause it's Alpha Bear. From the developers of Bushido Bear, Spry Fox constructs another bear-filled title for their contemplative players. Lacking the katana slashing, but not without its own kind of action, enhance your vocabulary skills as you spell out word after word from them growing bears. Pick up your nearest dictionary to reach the highest ranks of their leaderboards. It has a play score of 8.76. For 16, it's You Must Build a Boat. 88 Games sequel to the popular 1 million blends their match 3 gameplay with the delights of dungeon crawling. It's a hybrid of RPG and puzzle gaming that's set entirely on a boat. Start off small as you travel the whole world through a series of procedurally generated dungeons. Recruit your crew, eliminate monsters, collect items, and build up your boat. It has a play score of 8.76. Wreaking havoc at number 15 is Chaos Rings 3. 
The fourth game in Media Vision's Chaos Ring series, this mobile Japanese RPG made its most awaited debut on the Android. It's a full-scale RPG that will take you to the coasts of Neo Kaleo, a stepping stone in an explorer's journey to a blue planet. Scavenge for hidden treasures, fight against legendary monsters, and explore uninhabited lands. Fulfill your dreams because it has a play score of 8.78. For number 14, we have Iron Marines. From the creators of the award-winning Kingdom Rush trilogy comes their very own version of a sci-fi powered RTS slash tower defense game. As per usual, defend your bases with your high-powered towers. Recruit the greatest heroes of the galaxy and lead them into dangerous missions. What does it take to save the galaxy? It has a play score of 8.80. Hey Sailor, do you like what you see? You can get some of these games by clicking on the links provided in the description box below. In number 13 is Limbo. Play Dead's monochromatic indie platformer is a gem. This acclaimed puzzle dazzles you with its creepy black and white setting and eerie atmosphere. Play as a young boy trying to find his way out of his tormented place. Solve complicated puzzles that require timing and ingenuity. It's a fantastic entry to jumpstart Play Dead's success. It has a play score of 8.83. Taking over number 12 is Reigns Her Majesty. Devolver's more feminine side of their Tinder like simulation game. As regal as ever, create your perfect kingdom by attending to the concerns of your own people. Swipe left and right to pick the perfect answer and watch your kingdom thrive amidst the drama. It receives a play score of 8.84. Rocketing to 11th place is Bridge Constructor Portal, a hybrid of two of the most innovative games on the market, Bridge Constructor and Portal. Enter Aperture Labs and solve a multitude of puzzles requiring cooperation between construction bridges and bending physics with portals. It has a play score of 8.85. Soaring into number 10 is Alto's Adventure, a surrealist endless runner snowboarding game from developer Snowman. Alto's Adventure mesmerizes you with its gorgeous art style set in the beautiful Alpine Hills. Wander through neighboring villages as you grind rooftops and leap over cliffs with its graceful and fluid controls. It has a play score of 8.85. At number 9 is Kingdom Rush, the OG tower defense game that we all know and love. This is the first of Iron High Studios' award-winning trilogy and this is where it all began. Defend your kingdom from waves of orcs, trolls, evil wizards, and other nasty creatures. Use your vast arsenal of magical towers to quell this evil threat. It has a play score of 8.87. A spine-tingling trip through memory lane, its rusty lake roots. From the creators of the Cube Escape series, this psychological point-and-click horror game lets you build your own family tree. Expand your bloodline by unlocking portraits in the Tree of Life. Weave through each of their characters' lives as you experience their history in the game's unique storylines. It has a play score of 8.89. A dexterity test at number 7, it's Super Hexagon. Terry Kavanagh's ridiculous minimalist action rhythm game is not for the faint of heart. Using butt knee reflexes, complete increasingly difficult levels by evading jittery polygons. How long can you last? It has a play score of 8.91. For number 6, we have Lara Croft Go. Just like most of Square Enix Go games, this is a turn-based puzzle spin-off of Lara Croft's adventure. Explore ruins of an ancient civilization, uncover secrets, and face deadly challenges to solve the mystery of the Queen of Venom. It has a play score of 8.96. For 5, it's Threes a number slider puzzle game from Servo. It's addicting, easy to pick up, and it's full of replay value. Combine number threes and craft the biggest number you can achieve. It's a constant brain-pumping app that's impossible to put down. It has a play score of 8.96. Making magic at number four, it's Sorcery 3. The Play Store's favorite choose-your-own-adventure game becomes more interactive than ever before. A fitting adaptation of Steve Jackson's interactive gamebook 
Watch this world come alive with lovingly crafted maps and scenarios. While the game isn't fully animated, its choice of bookish art style definitely adds to the immersion. A fantasy game that's faithful to its literary roots, it has a play score of 8.97. Closing in at number 3 is Mini Metro. Create your own bustling, minimalistic subway layout in this strategy game from Dinosaur Polo Club. By connecting lines to their corresponding polygonal stations, make the most efficient pathways using your limited resources. It has a play score of 9.0. Seizing the second spot, it's The Room. The first of the long list of puzzles from Fireproof Games. This three-dimensional puzzler takes you to a creepy house with a mysterious box right in front of you. The game's main selling point is its ludicrous amount of creative puzzles. It's a brain teaser, and it's only just the beginning of a massive franchise. It has a play score of 9.03. And the best single-player game on the Android is none other than Crashlands. Did you miss this game? Taking over our list once again, Crash Land into a mysterious and hostile planet. Its gameplay is grounded by four major pillars. Craft, build, explore, and fight. Craft powerful items to dominate the planet, build sustainable homes to survive the harsh environment, explore procedurally generated dungeons, and fight for your survival. It has a play score of 9.10. Those were the top 25 single-player Android games. If you think we missed anything or if you just want to send us a message, come hit us up in the comments section. And if you love this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified What's Up player. <laughs> That's it! See you next time! Hey Sailor, do you like what you see? No! <laughs>